Hello viewers, it's been a while, I know, we've got a new angle. It took me this long to set up a whole new setup to get a new camera angle. You're very far away from me, but it's probably fine. Anyway, today we're going to talk about a database that's not a database. It's just a text file. Hang on a minute. What? That's not a database then. <laughs> You're wrong. It's a human readable format text file called a rec file. It pushes the boundaries of what is and what is not a database. You can edit this database in Vim, <laughs> Emacs, it's just plain text, right? That's what I'm trying to get. You could edit it in your email client. Why would you want one of these over MySQL, MySQL, or MySQL? Well, it's a good question. It gives you everything that plain text gives you, so legibility with any text editor known to, known to man, but it also gives you a few nice things that you don't get normally with a text file. Even though rec files, it's just plain text. <laughs> I love plain text, man. Transition, what? <laughs> Hello. First, we install the rec utils package. That's what you need. Smash that out, I've already done it. We're going to use the, the Vim text editor, I'm sure you know what it is, to create this React file. We'll create a database for my YouTube videos because I, I need something to track and keep me on track of YouTube. As you can see, I've slipped a tad. Rack by convention, YouTube.rack. There we are. Now we need to write some metadata at the top of our file. We basically are putting a database table name in. We can have more than one database table in our singular Rack file, and we can even link them by foreign keys. But I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm not. That's out of scope for this video, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is really out of scope. Right, we need the following. Uh, this rack file is videos for my videos. Then we can add some mandatory fields in here. So for every entry of the, the videos, I want a title and a description. So, there we are, title and description. We can add as many optional fields as well. We can have any number of fields that we haven't declared. They're just not mandatory. In this definition, you can also set like auto integer fields for like an ID. You can enforce rules. You can enforce field names to match a regex pattern, a timestamp, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, integer fields have to be an integer, things like that. Keep it simple for now, eh? We're gonna add a database entry now. So normally you just drop down to your MySQL client, but we're just gonna do it like this. So this is the uh, just an entry here. So I've added the title for rack files and the description. Let's talk about rack files, rack files. But I'm going to add a status in here because I want a status line. It's in progress. I'm recording it now. You're watching it now. It's done. So I could put done. However, that is true for the future, but not true for the current. In progress. Yeah. There we are. I want status to be mandatory, actually. Let's just whack it in there. Really hard. Copy, change, ooh la la, done. Just gonna go ahead and add a few more videos that I've got in my list of videos here. Just gonna add, add some more. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> there, 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 there they are. So as you can see, I've added some here. I've even put, uh, like here, i put a thoughts line here. Fun video to make, GIMP is silly. Reference for all the old subscribers of my channel. <laughs> so you can just add fields if you want. So at the moment, this is just basically just a text file still, right? You can view this with a normal text editor. We are going to, use the utilities we installed earlier now to help us. We can use the rec cell command, rec select, to view this data. Rec cell, youtube.rec. It just dumps it, dumps the data basically. This is a MySQL dump. So obviously we, we can't just select the database. That'd be kind of useless. Like what is the point? You just use can. So we're actually gonna do stuff with our data. Let's look for videos we're currently working on. So status is in progress. Status in progress, in progress here. If using GitHub, future, a little spoiler alert there. So to do that, so we do rack cell and we want to do E dash E for an expression, which is status equals and then in progress. Wow. You see, we have to note, we, we put it in single quotes there. Uh, there we are. So I've only, currently only got one video in progress. Why? Capital letters. <laughs> That's why. Look, so case, case sensitive. There we are. Not useful at the moment, as our data gets bigger, and you know, obviously, we're a very fractured mind here, so we'll be working on loads of videos at once, this will get much bigger. We can do another expression here, this is all the videos we haven't completed. <sighs> Quite a lot, but at least there's some ideas there, right? We can also use regex to search for data. Why would you want to do that? Mm, better searches. Again, using the rack cell command. Let's look for any tier lists we've got. So description. And this is the regex character as a tilde here. Uh, maybe before we did case insensitive, so we can actually do it. Uh, we can match lowercase t or capital T. And then ear. T ear. Tier. 
And then you also obviously need to put the file. There we are. So we've got Linux tier list and Core Utils tier list. This regex would match both anyway. So let's change this to um, lowercase t. It still matches. And if we don't have it, if we don't have it with a uh, description equals tier. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, okay. So this one didn't work because description equals tier is saying description only equals tier. Not really useful. So we just go description contains tier, but with no regex, we only return one. We can get random results. So we want to do that in case I don't know what to work on there. So rexl n for random and how many random results we want. We just want one. We're using GitHub, I'm already working on that. How to be a hacker. Do you want to learn to be a hacker? Let me know. We'll do it because I'm a hacker. <laughs> but hang on, this random one, it pulled an in progress one. I don't want it to pull in progress ones. I just want it to pull ones that I haven't started. Not started. Status is not started. You can see where this is going. So first of all, because it's a Unix util, we can chain commands together using magic pipes. Rack cell. Obviously, let's just select first all the status equals not started ones like this. Didn't work because I forgot these bad boys here. And right, okay, so these are all the ones we've not started. And then I can say just just this is a valid rec file. So I can pipe this into rec cell dash m1. And then we get around the one each time. Wow, we got very unlucky there. Look. <laughs> we got the Linux distro tier list many times over before it changed, but I trust it is random. This is a chance that happened. There was only three. We can also sort the data by a value. So if I want to be able to sort it, we just go back to the rack file. We add what we want to sort it on. Sort. Uh, I kind of want to sort based on whether they're in progress or not. So sort by status here. Uh, and then you need to use rack fix which came with your rec utils install. So you will. So now we can rec fix dash sort. Rec fix just will tell you if you've got errors in your file anyway, and it doesn't work. Error renaming file. Ah, there is sometimes a bug. You just shouldn't just set temp dir to dot. This is because we can't access dash temp for some reason on my system. You might not have this problem. There we are. Um, and then if we look at youtube.rec, just use vim, no, let's use rec cell because we're rec file users. You see all the statuses are sorted now, so they're in line with each other. Sorting is useful. So to add data, the easiest way is to just open the file and insert new things using vim. But let's say we want to do it in a script because we're Unix users and we like scripts. We use the rec ins command, rec insert. Wow, these commands have really Good names, rack ins. That's not a joke, that's no, true. So we do rack ins, and then we want, so it takes dash f and dash v for fields and value pairs. So you enter it dash f, you know, title dash v Linux commands. So dash f is our field, is title, dash v is the, the value. So you go rack ins. You need the dash t for like table, the videos table. Uh, field title. This is a bit of a pain to do, right? Um, oh, and you obviously need to specify YouTube.rec. Right, and put the temp file back in. Oh, temp dir, temp dir. Sorry, not temp file. So obviously I need to do temp dir first. So this has now inserted this into our rec file. See, it's at the bottom there, not started. That is a real pain to enter on the command line though. I really don't recommend you're, you're doing that unless you you know, you kind of like the pain, you know, just, just copy an existing one with Vim, it's great. Um, but it's good for scripts. We can make a script that asks us for each value and just inserts the data for us. So I, I did it. So yeah, I, I made the script called new Vim. Let's have a look quickly what it does. So it's very simple. You tell it what your database is, current directory, YouTube rec, right? Add some stuff, you know, let's add a YouTube video. And then it basically says, what is the video title and what is the description? That's all it does. And it by default puts status not started in uh, because that's what we know. Uh, and then it sorts it for us. Cool. And then it says record added and it, it selects it. Shows us the record. So if I run this command, 
Let's add a YouTube video. What, what should we what should we work on? What is interesting? What is interesting? What is truly true random? Can there be a true random? That is good. And then it says record added and then gives you a little confirmation which we can confirm with Rex. Well, there we are. Cool. Very cool. Camera stop recording. One last thing. Of course, rec files being a text file means it's very extensible. And there's even like, you know, there's built in ways to convert it into a CSV if you want to do that which is very cool. Let, let's, let's, let's show a use case for the rec to CSV tool. So it's built in rec to CSV, uh, youtube.rec. Yeah, dumps, dumps it to CSV, right? Comma separated values. Uh, they're used in the web, they're, they're basically, that's, but that's an Excel spreadsheet. So I can pipe it into column, another cool Unix tool, dash T for table. Now we want to separate it by comma. There we are. That looks a bit like an Excel spreadsheet, doesn't it? Uh, it, yeah, I can prove it. It looks very much like an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, I want to save this to uh, as CSV dot CSV. Then we can open this in Excel. Excel. There we are. Yep, separate it by column. Okay. Look. Rack files. That's Rack files. Simple, extensible database. Use it for everything you want. I use it for YouTube videos, and also I keep a library there. This is the end of the video.